Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play. It is Adabu and the Energy Thieves. Do you have any idea what that is? Probably not. supplies, his energy will trickle away, and then we could make him stop. You're right. We'll go home now. I'll bring back my things and we'll put a stop to these energy thieves. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what's wrong oh, then? I must have damaged one of my wings when I fell. I won't be able to take you back. Although, um, I could try. Uh, shortcut. Classic, classic first cutscene. So yes, this is Adabu and the Energy Thieves, and I've played this game once in my entire life. But I do actually have a story about this game, despite only playing it once, and it dates all the way back to 2004. Or five. Probably Go four. Come on, Adibu. There's no time to waste. Run to the house and get the Aero Scoot and your walkie-talkie. So, Have a look at your radar to make sure you don't get lost. Yep, yeah, so they're going to tell you what to do here, see? Look, they're going to they're gonna be like, yeah, that's our radar screen. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, like we care. We use it as a map to see where we are. Where we are. The white Bloody arrow hell. is me. It's, and the blinking it's bits me. show where we've got to go. Got to go. It's Up British, there, man. the controls you've got to use to play. For example, In case you, you didn't know what the now, buttons were. You can see how to help me move about. Oh, thanks, Adabu. Much appreciated, mate. Alright. Look at Adabu. He's jumping. Look, he's got some great air for someone with a bit of a muffin top belly. Um, but yes, okay, so oh we're gonna Up there is the action button. Ooh, when it's blinking, that means we can do button. something special. Give it a try. It'll certainly help us. I'm sure it will. Okay, so this is Adabu and the Energy Thieves. I said that for the third time now. And as you can see, it's a, well, it's an adventure game. You get to go around and jump around and do cool stuff. Um, actually... Here we are, back in my house. This is his house. He owns it, I think. He, he invested it back in, you know, 2001. He's been paying it off for a couple of years. Obviously, as a, as a young boy, he makes quite a big income, yes. uh, you know, a, as a coal miner. That's that's my own backstory. Excellent. Thanks to the walkie-talkie, we can stay in touch with Bisbee. And then, once the air escape's ready, it'll take us to the far corners of the earth. Amazing. Yes, so what you may be looking at this, you may be Here's my aero scoot. Yeah, yeah, aero, yep. Yeah. It's a miniature car. It's a miniature car. You may be thinking about how oh for fuck's sake, just shut up. Okay, we'll do. So yes, you may be thinking this looks like something that'd be like a TV show game. And it is. I believe this this is not actually English. There's an English dub here. If you ever need help. If you're in a bit of a jam, go ahead and press the button that's blinking up there. He kind of looks like a German kid. 
What kind of name is Adibu? I don't know that there's a version like Adibu, like, uh, with, I think it might be, like, either French, German, it's one of those. Uh, that's a bit, that's a, that's too broad, I apologize for the accidental, yeah, that's probably, yeah, but... Action button to begin harvesting them. This clearly is like some hub from the show or something like that. But um, they made this. They made this into a TV show or something like that, um, or it was a TV show at the time, and then they adapted it into a game. I think there's another Adaboo game, but this game is very simple. It's clearly for kids, as you can tell by the way they speak. Like you know, you think about Spyro. They don't speak to you like you're an absolute moron. You know what I mean? Like they do kind of go. Yeah, here's how you do this. But that's it, you know, and you can skip it if you wish, except for the first dragon, of course. So as you can see, there's a little map here telling us where to go. We're going to get into the first level. This be! This be! All right, then. I've made you a map of the nature reserve. Here, take it and go as quickly as you can to stop the forest robot. And best of luck! Here we go! Thank you very much. Very nice, okay. So we get to enter the first level. So yeah, this game is very simple, it's pretty easy, and it's, a, you know, it's fun for what it is. Now, here we go, we get a little bit here, which what we go to get, and stuff like that. Uh, we don't want to save, no we don't. Continue with that saving, yes. Oh, auto save switch, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yay! His voice is classic. It's like some Ape Escape level dialogue, except not that shit, but it's kind of equally funny on a, like, a childhood entertainment game, you know, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's just, I just find it funny. Here's the first level, here we go. Right then, let's go and catch that big phony. Otherwise, he's a phony? all the forest's energy. I only hope it's not too late. You know, he seemed fine to me. Right, now it's time for a bit of sport. When an obstacle gets in our way, sport. press the jump button. You know, the one that's blinking up there. Oh, God. I forgot yes. what it's like being a five-year-old kid. Right. So, this is Adabu and there's 80 collectibles in this level. Um, this is a 2D platformer and it's pretty, pretty damn easy. Um, yeah. I will say, I like its weird goofy art style like it's got this it's got a really nice feel to it like i don't know I, fuck off dickhead there you go i, I like it. it's like it's 2d unfortunately i well, not unfortunately uh, i guess it, you know it's just it's meant to be like that you know but it, it kind of the levels look okay it's obviously clear that it's uh no. oh we're trapped but actually if i throw this box <laughs> we're trapped but door, actually we're not that should do it Hang on, I'll have a go. Are you talking to yourself? But I reckon, um, what's his name? Adabu's is paranoid schizophrenic. Uh, uh, heavy, eh? <laughs> heavy, eh? Bloody oath, mate. Alright, um, I need to get back up there so I can actually... Come on. Heavy, eh? Damn right, mate. Damn right. Wait. Alright, well... Yeah, could be in some serious shit here. Alright, well, coming back to this level later. Um, no, but, um, like, this uh, this game is incredibly simple, and it's 2D, and, you, you know, as you can tell. But it's got a nice, like, it, it feels really kind of, I don't know, just... It, oh, crap. Wait, can I... Is that the right way to go? Yeah. I don't know, I, there's just something I like about it. Now, I'll tell you my history with this game. I actually i remember um the same disc that had a game called crash unlimited you may know about that that's what uh crash twin sanity was called originally there's this demo type thing of, of like demo disc games right and this was like a, a, a video trailer of the game um i really should have gone down there damn it um can we can we go back down there or not that'd be great if we could um so yeah basically what happened no i don't think we can oh we can't we're, we're, we're trapped Can't get past. Oh no. Pass. 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 
Thanks, Bisbee. Hell yeah, man. That was he's this guy's a this guy's a visionary. Um we're missing something. What's that? No? Oh, cool. Little secret area. Um, so yeah, so basically what happened, I saw a trailer for this and I thought it was bloody awesome when I was a kid, but I could never find the game anywhere. Like, anywhere. Because it's it's a very rare game. Like, I mean, I don't, I'm, that's what I mean. Like, this LP, I've got a feeling absolutely no one on my channel even knows what game this is. Like, it's like, what, do you, what is, what is Adabu and the Energy Thieves? What, what, what is that shit? You know, like, I, I'd be thinking the same, I'd be saying the same thing. But, I want you guys to give this game a chance just for me to take the piss out of it and have some fun, you know? That's what it's all about. Um, so yeah, I remember watching it, I was like, this is pretty cool, like, it seemed like it had an interesting premise. The music in the trailer was really great, and actually, the music is one of the strong points of this game, like, it sounds pretty normal here, but, you know, there's a nice atmosphere to it, it's kind of, you know, nice and simple and, and fun, you know? What we, what we want. Tell you why, we haven't unlocked the ability for it yet. We'll come back there later. Uh, got anything to throw? I don't think so. Look at that. Oh, look, they're hot. Like, the, like a majority of the games, like, f like not fun. Um, what's the word? Like, you were just super. Thank you. You're talking to yourself, though, Adabu, you idiot. Quickly! Oh, he's getting away. Oh my goodness. No way. You get to get you get to go on a machine? Okay, so look. Level was not completed, 66 out of 80. Secret passages one out of three. Holy crap, where are the other Well, we're coming back. We are coming back, my friends. We are coming back. Alright, let's just format it. Yes. Okay. Um so yeah, so uh, I remember being really interested in it. and like there is like a kind of a variation in gameplay like this thing here we're about to see which is pretty cool and there's like boss fights and stuff and it's, you know, it, this LP won't be too long, uh, let's just save it, uh, it won't be too long, it will be pretty short but you know, it's just going to be kind of one of those fun little random let's plays to do that would just be kind of hilarious just for the sake of it, you know, get to, here are actually the levels here, see look you see there, we've, we've, there's four world kind of things or whatever, um, okay here we go. Right then, we're in the Aeroscoot. We've got to learn how to drive it quickly before the robot gets here. Try to get this bonus. I will. Okay, there we go. Super! Let's give that one a try as well. Okay. And this is teaching us good left and right. Goodness, it's as if you were born to drive this. It's we're you're the one that's playing it though, mate. Do you believe in free will? Do you think? My, there he is. Quick, we can't let him get away. Quick, quick. We've got to chase this bastard. All right. So, you don't have to press anything in order to do this? Okay, so there's no buttons involved with... Okay, you can shoot. Oh my goodness me, this is incredible. You can shoot. This is violent stuff right here, guys. This is, like, disgusting. I feel I feel dirty for, you know, shooting in a video game. Like, this is not appropriate for kids. You know, this is just, like, you know... This is just disgusting, actually. I can't believe they do this. No, actually, this this challenge is pretty damn difficult if you think about it. Like, um, crap. You got to make sure you get all of these. It's eight out of fifty-five. I got a feeling there's some tough ones. I remember do playing this like once. I don't think I've actually. I, I don't think I ever beat the game when I played it. I played it in one session, right? Oh shit. Well, we're done. Can't hundred percent it now. Maybe I'll come back later. We'll see. But. I really, like, this is a 2004 game. For a 2004 PS2 game, it's got its own charm to it, as I, as I keep saying. So, it's kind of like, I think I think the graphics are definitely acceptable. You know, there's, look at the, um, the reason I missed that one there is because looking at the background there. Look at the um, really nice uh, coloured background there. It's really, it's actually very pretty, to use that word, very pretty, gorgeous. It's very gorgeous. It's, it's the Renee Young of uh, video game backgrounds. Um... Alright, let's, oh shit, the water there is weird, it's kind of fun, so what's the point in shooting by the way, I don't know, we're not losing him, piss off, oh. that was, that was his fault, that was his fault, now the thing is, will, if you redo it, do you, um, what's the word, do they have to restart all the, all the, do they have to get all them again, or will they already enter the level and already have them again, I don't know, that's the thing, but there is actually backtracking in this level, in this game, sorry, which is really kind of cool for a kids game. You'd think it'd be very straightforward, but I guess it's that like extra perspective that they want. They kind of want to do that, so you're not just you know left there bored. You know, like 
players, you know, maybe playing with the adults, be like, hey, kids, you can go back to the level. Once you're done once, you're not done forever. That kind of logic, I guess, but, you know, I don't think it was really probably that in-depth, but still, you know, there's, I'm a fan of the fact that you get to do, you get to do things again and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. He's getting, he's the kid. He's getting away. Wait. I'm trying to, I'm just thinking, will that hit him? Okay, I hit him. The thing is, what is it actually doing? Is will he actually get away if I don't do this or what? Like, like do you have to shoot him? Oh, fuck, I'm missing all these bloody ones here. I think we're we're towards the end now. Uh, so every every world has one of these types of levels, like runaway type things. It's yeah, you know, um, in terms of difficulty, they're probably the harder thing in the game, especially to get all of them in one level. That's what I find quite challenging. Um, oh shit, we're missing out, guys. We're missing out. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. That's cool. Now we're in some... Where, where, where is this land? Where, where do they live? Is this like uh, Southeast uh, Europe? I don't know. I've got no idea. What, i got no idea what location this is at all. It's a mythical, wonderful land, apparently. Now, why might we get a cutscene? Alright, so 48 out of 55. Excellent. I wonder what these points are leading up to. What, 100% completion or what? Anyway, oh, you can you can play two-player? What? And look at that. As you can see on that map, that is a boss. What is this boss? Right. We're in the robot's lair now. Oh, my God. This is where he destroys the forest's wood. Have a look at that reservoir up there. Oh, my God. We'll make it fall down on he's, his head. He's whispering. Bisbee told fall down on his head. Robots. All you've got to do is make them dance. Okay, Let's mate. Chuck some Adibu. Boxes at Adibu. Stop. Stop talking. Adibu, stop. Okay, that's just disrespectful. This man, I mean, he is he's programmed to do this, okay? It's not his fault. You, know, you blaming him is just disgusting on your behalf. Right, so actually, I didn't even read what it said we had to do. Wait. Okay, I've just completely forgotten. Right. What do you got? What do you got to do? What are you got to do? What? What? Are, what? Are, what's the plan again? Throw the music box at him? Wait. Oh yes! I was knocking him out. I'm knocking him dead. Wait. Oh dear, indeed. One's not enough. Let's try two. Oh shit! Did you die in this game? Wait. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is, one's not enough. Actually, how cool is this background of this stuff? This looks dangerous. You know, Adabu, has got to be careful here, man. Adabu will wreak havoc. All right. And boom. Jesus, Adabu, mate. I'm going to destroy you. All right. And what's the music for again? Oh, there we go. Okay, get, stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, Adabu, Adabu, please, just stop talking to yourself. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a player, okay? I'm not a player. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, this isn't, what are you talking about? Oh, okay, wait, so you use the left analog stick to rotate. Oh, okay, oh, here we go. Wait, we got it, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. And... We we hit him. Mind the head. He's giving him a warning before he drops him on the head. Oh, that's that's bad. Way. Gee, violence. Wahey, killing a robot. Wahey, Adabu, you're a serial killer. I will not allow this to happen. I'll have all my robots attack the nature reserve. So yes, apologies for the kind of somewhat lag in that level, um, just because of the whole, you know, uh, what's the word, just emulator kind of thing, it's just, just you know, it, it's actually very, 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 very nice cutscenes actually, like, graphically they are exceptional, uh, they look very nice, alright. Hey, you hey. gave him a thorough walloping, that big phony. He's not a phony, you're a phony. Got to go into the underground tunnels now. Uh, but I'm afraid you're no longer alone. So I'd rather you have something to defend yourselves with. Um, uh, just in case. Go to the seed tree and bring me back whatever falls from it. Okay. Right, chief. Off to the seed tree. Oh, 
You are so enthusiastic, my young man. I love you. I love you, Adabu. Don't stop being you. All right, so before we end this part, uh, well, yeah, we'll figure out backtracking later, but what we're going to do is, actually, there's a cool thing about this, like, 3D kind of world, is that, yeah, you get to do these things where you get to do these little mini-games, right? Press the action button to yep. begin harvesting I will, I, I will. Okay. It's simple. It's when simple. When a seed falls, help you catch me get it. right under it. Okay, so yeah, you do these little mini games to unlock these new, new. You get like a new gadget every time. Um, this, these tasks are pretty simple, like this, as you can see. All right, let's do that. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh my goodness, that's some challenge right there. Look, some trick. So, oh shit, what? What? I, I, I didn't even do that. That's my, that's my bad. All right, that one. Hey, the music's pretty cool. Can you hear that? Very nice. See, look, they do little trick ones where they move that one after, and you're thinking, oh, you know, we're done, but you just do that. Now, I don't know how long you're going to do this for, but it's probably fairly, fairly quick, or they're both at the same time, pretty much. Very, very tricky. All right, here we go. That one. So, yeah, what these seeds give you is they give you something. I can't remember. Um, James Morrison, I know he gives me something. Well, no, 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 no. Someone gives James Morrison something. You remember that song, you know, You Give Me Something by James Morrison? It was like, he used to, like, you could hear him breathe in between the verse. You know, he go, he went, like, Cause you give me something. Like, he used to go, he goes, you Give me. He breathe, you can hear him, him, hear him breathe. Yeah, anyway, I don't know why I'm bringing up James Morrison, You Give Me Something, but somehow tie that into seeds. You give me seeds, alright, okay. Alright, okay, so now we, what we get to do, let's, uh, let's speed up Adabu right here, let's speed him up. Go Adabu, go. Go Adabu. I'm speeding up Adabu, actually that's done shit all. Wow, that's amazing, okay, well. Note to self, don't try and speed up Adabu, we'll just slow him down. Adabu does not, does not cheat, you know, he's not a cheating man, he's, he's just a murderer, basically. And now, watch this. Uh, careful. Wow. I've just turned them into surprising seeds. <laughs> uh, the robots are going to have quite a surprise. Surprising seeds are presents with a twist. <laughs> they deactivate robots. We're not going to give up now, are we? Why would you? Wow, the door opens yet again for yet another level. Amazing stuff. All right, but wait. Why are we heading back to the same spot? What's going on here? Wait a minute. Okay, anyway, so thank you very much for watching, guys. In the next part, we're going to be going in to the next level. So thank you. Oh, yeah, I just said thank you, but yeah. Once again, I hope you uh, enjoy this Let's Play. This is going to be a short but quick but fun but awesome Let's Play. Trust me, Adaboo. He's a, he's a house of fire right now.